Hello, this is Nathan, and welcome to a specific guide for Door Fortress. In this video, I'm going to be showing off how to make a Dwarven Atom Smasher. If you don't know what this is, essentially a bridge will squish a item either below or above it, you know, if you were in a cavern, and it will delete it permanently. Of course, that's not 100% true. There are some specifics to go with it, but that's the idea of it. So before I start, I do want to talk about that a little bit. The, the bridge will not open or close if there is something in the way that's considered like a large entity, I guess. So like colossi, elephants, that kind of thing. This will not work. The drawbridge will, uh, won't pick up or go down because it's either too heavy or there's something in the way. So this will not work for those type of entities. Another thing to consider, which some people use the Atom Smasher for, is to get rid of items permanently. Uh, so that way, Door Fortress runs faster, you know, less entities in the world. Uh, one thing to consider, or maybe a couple of things, is it won't delete certain things like um, I guess like soft data or something you want to call it. Essentially, like if someone owns something and you deleted it, that possession is still in the game somewhere. So that won't get deleted. Uh, something to kind of keep in mind. Not really anything you need to consider. I just don't want to uh, tell you guys misinformation. Another thing too that it won't delete is if you do use this against your own dwarf and like if he's part of a unit or what have you, uh, they will show off as dead, still in like the unit or what have you, uh, possibly the screen. They'll show off as dead and they won't be permanently removed. The only way to permanently remove a dwarf like that is if they leave the map, which you can banish them. So just something to kind of keep in mind for the use of this Atom Smasher. But anyway, Let's get right into it, show off how to do it. So the first thing we want to do is uh, make this guy open here. So let's go to our lever. We're going to pull it. Wait for one of our doors to do so. I think they did. Yes, so it's up now. So for this example, I'm going to show off two different things here. So we got a pen and pasture. I am going to put my key in here. And then the other thing I'm going to make is a dump. There we go. I'm going to delete my existing dump. That way it makes this example go a little easier. And then, of course, we're going to dump something. So let's just pick this lignite here and dump it. So we're going to wait until these guys come over here. Shouldn't take too long. I don't really have anything else going on in this fortress. And for those who may not know, I do have this fortress as a casual guide. So I'm playing through it and going through like a walkthrough as I'm building the fortress. So if that's something that you're interested in, please check it out. Um, it's been a really fun experience so far. Anyway, we do have our key. And of course, we have our lignite here. So let's pull the lever. Bam. We're going to go to the bridge so I can show you guys. All right. It's flattened. Let's uh, go back and pull it again. There we go. And now, ta-da, they're gone. They're permanently deleted. Of course, like I said, sometimes some uh, soft data or loose data is still in your game. But for the most part, these guys are deleted. Um, let me see. Let's check here. I don't think the key is in here anymore. Yeah, so he's not there. So there you go. That's how you guys do a Dwarven Atom Smasher. If you guys have any questions, please leave comments below. If there's any kind of videos or anything you'd like me to go over, let me know down in the comments. And of course, correct me if I did say any misinformation. Um... If you guys just want to talk Dwarf Fortress too, please, please do. I'd be more than happy to talk to you guys. Uh, but anyway, it's been a pleasure showing this off to you guys. And as always, this is Nathan. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I'll see ya.